think it's very easy for Americans to come here and to somehow think that things are far behind here. And that's just not true. There are some things that are very far behind here, but there are some things that are way ahead of America. Uh, and I also think the change will happen probably more quickly here as well. Uh, so for example, if you look at the way that mobile phones are embedded in, in the culture of people here, I think to some extent things are further developed for some of the demographic here. I think when you look at people's media consumption here, it actually lags in behind. Uh, the number of people that buy daily newspapers, for example, is a very good example of something that hasn't been seen in a lot of the developed world for a long time. Um, so I think one needs to be kind of mindful of the environment that it creates and the degree to which companies can really leapfrog uh, a lot of the interim stages. Digital media has always been the next big thing and what we've realized in some markets is that there needs to be a much more nuanced approach towards it. Uh, there's always a lag between a new technology and how quick it is the investment happens within that channel. Uh, mobile is the best example of that at the moment where we spend an incredible amount of time on mobile but yet investment in advertising is very low. So I think what we're probably seeing is people learning from some of the early mistakes that happened in other countries. We're seeing a certain degree of lag because that's how the world is. Um, and we're probably also seeing a slightly different demographic nature here, where if you want to reach large, you know, the mass markets, you know, it still may not be as possible to do so using digital channels. And there are still huge numbers of people watching broadcast TV and reading newspapers as well. So it's just a slightly different combination of, of factors. India is a country that has 1.2 billion people uh, and it's undergoing a, a pretty remarkable economic transformation with an incredible amount of growth. Um, so unlike more mature economies, it's absolutely possible and likely uh, and good that the entire advertising community grows. Uh, so within the whole pie growing, it makes sense that traditional media will grow, but it's also likely and uh, sensible that digital marketing and digital channels will grow even faster. I mean, I like to think of a world beyond digital and traditional as a split, because if you're reading the Indian Times on your phone, you're still reading quality journalism. The fact you're consuming on your phone is increasingly less relevant. So I, I, I talk freely about a kind of post-digital age where whether you consume TV from streaming or broadcast, or whether you're reading news on your phone or on your desktop or as a newspaper, it increasingly matters less. So I think that distinction between traditional and digital will hopefully uh, increasingly mean less as people just reach people in like really rich and really personal ways. I think in different countries at different times, uh, digital will become how virtually all media is delivered. I mean, interestingly, in India, your TV streaming infrastructure is pretty advanced. So we're already seeing lots and lots of people consuming TV on, on desktop and through the internet. I think if we look to the long-term future, other than newspapers and outdoor, virtually all media will become digital. As it happens, digital is better. We get far more rich personal information, we get to see how people are behaving, we get to optimize in real time, we get to buy in real time. It's, it's the best environment ever for advertising, so we should see it as a very positive thing.